lately we've been filming videos that require so much time and effort and they take days to make. And as much as I love making those videos, there is still a big part of me deep down below that just wants to film a vlog like I used to and just hang out with you guys all day. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's a Saturday morning. Normally me and Sprinter go to Cars and Coffee every Saturday morning, but Sprinter slept in a little bit late today. Whoa. So that whole plan got thrown out Whoa. the window and we're gonna Whoa. start off our morning with this some Whoa. breakfast Whoa, we together. were supposed to go, but TJ didn't wake me up. So now we're going to TJ's least favorite place for breakfast, look at him. It's one of those things where like when your person is asleep and they're like sleeping longer than they normally do, you're like, oh, if I wake her up, I'm gonna get attacked and I'm gonna be like, what? why did you let me sleep in? Uh, that, so I didn't do it. I'm trying to go, but I'm trying to wait for my Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay takes forever on this car. I don't know if any other, car too. I don't know if any other G82 owners out there, or BMW owners out there with like a new UI have the same problem, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna wait it out a little bit and try to get it to connect. Sabrina drove this car the other day and she added her Yeah, phone. by the way, you guys, what the heck? I posted a, I posted a picture on my story of TJ, the RX-7 in front of me, and all my DMs were like, damn, TJ lets you drive that car? How are you driving that car? You guys. No, I agree. Why? No, I agree. It was definitely a little bit of a <laughs> Why are you guys all down rough my driving ability? But I will say, 15 minutes. I will say the M4 is such an easy car to drive oh. because Mainly, it's not super low to the ground, or the body isn't super low to the ground. It is super low. The only wide, thing that is super low is the diff. But other than that, like you could drive this thing pretty much anywhere, and you don't really run into the problems of it being too low or it, you know, potentially sabotaging itself. Are we gonna listen to? Well, you know what? We'll listen to your. You, we're, we're gonna listen to your music this morning. That's the type of guy I am. Does anybody else's boyfriend's face look like this before he eats in the morning? No. Go back to how you were. No, he's lying to you guys right now. He's sad because he's hungry. It's cloudy out, and now it's raining. It's not raining. <laughs> I don't have windshield wipers on this car. We're probably gonna die. Seen a cyber truck yet? I have not seen two of them. Two of them. Oh, they're starting to come out. Whoa! Oh, there's three of them. Wow. There's three of them. Wow, that's cool. We are not going to Cars and Coffee because it's a little late, but we are driving Go ahead, through sir. it for a little peep of what we have. Was there anything? Nothing entertaining. What do you mean? There's so much good stuff. Nah. There's so oh, much. Oh, I missed my Z8. I missed my Z8. Oh, look at—he has gold wheels on his Porsche, just like you do. Oh, gold wheels on his Porsche. So this is what cars and coffee looks like, everyone. Normally we come and we park, but TJ said no, I don't want to go today. And then when we were on our way to breakfast, he said, oh. What Let me another cyber truck. I decided that we. Dude, would. that thing is so sick. Can you get one of those? No. Please. No, we don't. Please. Believe, we don't believe in EV over here. Not on this side of the internet. And that was it, that was ladies it. and gentlemen. That was it, everyone. Welcome to Cars and Coffee. That, that was. We were just doing a little. We were just a little detour. Now we're going to breakfast, but the That's place we're going to breakfast, TJ does not like. So. It's not that I don't like it's it. It's not my it's fault. It's just that I don't like it. So. Some of us have brain tumors, okay? Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. And, you... and some of us need to stick to a very strict, healthy diet, so said brain tumor does not keep growing back. Anyways, there's this place that like, they don't cook any of their stuff in seed oils, it's all organic, it's all gluten-free. What are you laughing, why are you laughing at me? You're expecting them to know what seed oils are? Hey, I know some of my boys out there are on the health train. Yeah, seed oils are what they cook all of our fish and meat and everything at the restaurant. Don't make me go down that rabbit hole, it's just very bad for you. So I'm trying to eat clean and there's this place in this cute little beach town near where we live that is super clean. I go there like five times a week and I drag his ass with me a couple times. And their, he their really- food, Their food tastes like cardboard. You guys, I'm gonna show you what my food looks like when it comes out. And you tell me if you think it looks like it tastes like cardboard, okay? I mean, it. it's a compromise. This is- She enjoys it. He compromises because he loved me. Just like I compromise sitting in these cars that make me go like this everywhere. We oh! Oh, this is such a good road. Oh, no, there's, come on. This car doesn't seem like it's very sturdy. It might fall apart. Oh, there goes my phone. Oh, no. So, come on. It's so fast. Come on, not in Rancho. It's so fast. The old people get mad. No, no, no. Oh, my God. It's incredible Wait, how good this car is. Grab my phone here. Tuck it under my leg. Oh, careful, careful. There, there's look, horses ahead. Wow. It's not even tuned yet. It is small, it is quick. Oh, careful! This is literally the perfect time to film this because I can't tell you how many times this happens to me throughout every day of life. It's already 2.45, I haven't even realized that I didn't eat breakfast and I also didn't eat lunch and I typically would resort to just Ubering the closest fast food around me to make it easy. But I really don't do that anymore and that's all thanks to Factor. 
Factor is not new to this channel, but if you don't know what they are, they are pre-made healthy meals. It's essentially meal prep stuff. They're very healthy and they taste really good and they are actually pretty aware of the calorie count. I order them in bulk and stash them so that when I'm hungry and I didn't order anything, I could just hop over to the fridge and grab something good to eat. Today, it's gonna be loaded bacon and spinach shredded chicken. Honestly, pretty fire. It's extremely easy to make. All you need is a microwave and then you just poke a few holes throughout it, chuck it inside and go two minutes on the clock. They've also recently added wellness shots, which I am obsessed with. They're super small and they make me feel like I'm taking really good care of myself and me and Sabrina love to do them. I know you're on the phone, but you should take your wellness shot. And just a few minutes later, I'm back at my desk with lunch and I'm not eating crappy foods. And there are so many options out there. There's a meal for everyone. Head over to factor75.com or click the link down below and use code HUNT50 to get 50% off your first order. I was even able to get you guys free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from the three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Thank you so much, Factor, for keeping me healthy, keeping me going, and for hooking up the boys. And now let's get back to today's video. These are the types of guys. Whoa, four by four, four squared! squared. <laughs> if that's not speaking of a, a little testimony of, of, of to what's coming later today. Speaking of four by four squared. Let everyone know. Let everyone know. No, now. they can wait till later in the video. That thing looks goof, dude. That is not a four by four squared, actually. We are move over. I hate the bikers. Stop, that. they're rich, they can do what they want. Get out of the road! We're literally in like probably the wealthiest area of San Diego. Bikers, and stay in the bike lane. All the old rich dudes that live in their $10 million mansions will go out on their little bike rides in the morning and just be in the center of the road. And TJ does I, that. it infuriates me. <laughs> that's not a four by four square. That's, I know, that's, that's not a four by four square. An older G it's an older G-Wagon lifted. lifted. Yep. What oh, the heck? I'm a car girl. Now at ER, look, now, now we need a closer look. Look at this thing, what is that? Pretty gangster. Let me, let me get a little zoom in for the boys here. The, the blue's definitely a bold color. No, Look at I, the body roll on that thing. Jeez. I think it's cool. They didn't add the fender flares either. Like, it's still like a skinny body. Oh, yeah? Still like a skinny body? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! A dandelion! Must be the last oh, look. one of the season. TJ makes fun of me because I know you guys have seen this meme because it literally went viral. But it's like a girl and her faith, her faith, wow. Ooh, my lips just came out. Her face turns to like Sid the Sloth and she goes, Oh, look, a dandelion. Must be the last one to season. <laughs> I can do it so well. She does such a good impersonation <laughs> of it. I love when she does it. Hey, look, there's an R8 up there. There's an R8. Oh, oh there he goes. Later. Oh, goodbye. Okay, longest clip in the world. Oh, All look. Right. A dandelion. No, try to actually do it. Oh, look. No. Oh, look. Oh, look. A dandelion. A dandelion. Must be the last one to season. <laughs> Sabrina's natural lisp that she learns to natural. cover takes over. That's how she can do it so well. So here we are at our place of food. It's not bad. TJ it's just this received super, a, a lavender super. latte. Those of you guys that are locs to ex it's San just, Diego. It's, ju it's just not my favorite, that's all. Right here, I got myself a machi. This is why I like this place. Look, they have this sriracha, but it's not your regular sriracha. Look at how little ingredients are in this. Organic chili peppers, garlic, sea salt, cane sugar, rice vinegar. Count your ingredients, not your calories, people. Why are you looking at me like that? It's a day in the life. This is what it's like to go on a date with TJ this is, and I. This is very this accurate. Is, this is a true day in the life. TJ on his phone and me just minding my own business. She's framing me. That is not I'm true. I'm not framing him. It's not true? Look at him. Show them the screensaver you have of me. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Show them. I can't do that. <laughs> Why is your skin so smooth? on this vlogging camera. <laughs> Cause I'm so handsome. You are so handsome. Just some good old eggs and so some- heirloom tomato toast, scrambled eggs. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves with Sabrina is that she's the world's best jaywalker. And I don't say best to hype her up. I mean, she'll like, there'll be traffic coming and she'll just be like, go and sprint. So I'm like, no Sabrina and she, Makes like fun of me for being. Yes, please. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you're not driving. No way. 
I, this is my baby. This okay, is my, well, I'm going to get a new car today. No, you're not. And you don't get to drive it. This, that is... Watch me. Watch yeah, you're going to get it. Watch your feet. Click the feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't click them enough. Okay, okay, watch the interior. Watch the interior. Here, can you hold my koofy? Your koofy? Hold my koofy for me. It's right there. No, it's not where it is. It's right there. It's in there. <laughs> Whenever we park here, it's like by the beach. There's no parking, so you have to park in the dirt. And whenever we park here, I've taught Sabrina, I'm like, you gotta, well one, getting in this car is tough because the side skirt's like five inches off Nobody the car. Nobody cares! Get in the front, get in the- What? No one cares? I care. <laughs> and I always go like this. Click, oh, click the feet. Ew, the egg. What? <laughs> kick the feet, kick the feet. I always click my feet a wow. good amount you. before I get in. For your Sabrina bad breath? Sabrina and I have- For your bad breath? For, for your, your for, for your for your bad breath. For your bad breath. Smells like a dying muskrat. What the fuck is a muskrat? It's an animal. Ow! <laughs> Dude! A day in the life. This is a true day. I wasn't expecting here, that. That here, hurt. Whack! No, I don't want that. I'm drinking coffee. Hit, hit me back! I'm getting a headache, you guys. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. Guys, it's a Saturday. I'm in a silly, goofy mood. You guys are getting a headache. If you didn't, go to thehuntcompany.com and get yourself a hunt quarters. I think all the sweatshirts are sold out, but there's a few sizes in like the triple and double XLs, but there's still t-shirts left. So there's like- Let us see. There's only a couple. Let there's us only a, there's see. Only, there's not that many sizes left in the shirts, but. Oh, the hunt quarters. Our I know, first... I don't know what to do with the Instagram. Cause like, it's too difficult to post. On mine. Let's take a selfie a day and post on it. <laughs> just us. Just me and you, just every single day. Welcome to work. Oh, I thought you meant like starting right now. No, starting right now. Just a selfie a day. Welcome to the hunt Okay, watch, we'll do it here. Put, put, put. <laughs> That's gonna look so <laughs> weird. Oh no, I'm, not a, good, I'm not a good vlogger. Wow, what, what do we say? We just say nothing? <laughs> This vlog's not gonna go out for like two days, <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna be like, like so confused. People are gonna be like, Sabrina and TJ lost it. Maybe the first one we post is when we post this video. And then everybody pause this video and rush over and be like, woohoo, way to go guys. For those who don't know what the hunt quarters like, came from, when we first moved into the first shop oh. like seven years ago, that was my first like shop that I got, and we, you know, like it was like, oh, it's the HQ, it's the headquarters. And I was like, oh, what if we called it like the hunt quarters? And then we made an Instagram page called the hunt quarters. We still have it today. It's, and we used to be really active on it. And it was like, <laughs> it, it was, so I'm just filling them in. Oh, the hunt quarters. Yeah. We even had, we, we had hunt quarters merch, but now the Instagram page is dead because this guy is too busy. I will run it. All right, watch. <laughs> No, no, no. We have to post it when this video goes live. No, no, no. I think we post it now. Oh, it's, uh, it's not this guy's, oh, this guy's uh, watching like... I'm sorry. I'm a car dude. What is this thing? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. So it's an M4. It's a GT3 kit. So like, do you know what GT3 cup racing is? It's a type yeah. of, it's like below F1. Yeah, yeah. So it's a GT3 okay. cup body okay. that yeah. I got from, I have... Uh, special connections with. I do a lot of stuff on the internet. Okay. I build cars for a living. I do too. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I drift cars in Texas. Oh. I, I just like I'm. I'm here. I just flew in for like a birthday party tonight, and I my my wife and I were just talking about the cars, the car everywhere. Yeah. Um, what do you drift? Uh, I, what do I drift? Yeah. yeah. I drift a Z and a 240. Okay. Uh, hey. 370. I, I, drift, I drift all over the country. I've been drifting for like uh, 15 years now. Oh, I I. Uh, I'm a brilliant at drifting as well. Okay, excellent. That's cool. sick. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, and we saw the car, I was like, what is that? Like, just... <laughs> I do stuff on YouTube and stuff. We're like Jay, in here filming random that's clips. So funny. Yeah. That's so no, sorry. you're totally good. It's totally fine. <laughs> BMW allowed me to purchase this, and you're only allowed to purchase, like, the only people who have this body or have this car are people who buy the GT3 M4s, which are like 800 grand. You have to have a GT3 Cup team and a licensing yeah. team. I'm like one of those guys that love, I want the kids that know it. Yeah, yeah so sick. like it's no one else has one. Congratulations. It's pretty, Jeez. yeah. It's so like the, the ride height, it's like what do you, like, what do you, what do you, like, what do you think a, about the fitment? Oh, dude, I, I'm, I'm like one of those <laughs> where I don't give a fuck. Like, it's a, hey, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, yeah. It's a cup car. Yeah. If they don't, if you know racing, they're not slammed. That's not yeah, how the kids are designed. I, I used to give a shit about that. And then like once I started raising my car and 
I mean, I drive pretty hard. Functionality. Yeah, you better follow me back. I don't know if I followed you on my car one or my. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll look for it. One. I'll yeah, look for yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do you wait? So you, you do you do drifting and? Yeah. No. Uh, for Here. sure. No. I'm, give give I'm, give yourself a shout out on, on drifted, our vlog. I've uh, drifted drift week like really five times. I've never times. done drift week. Dude, you got All come. my friends go. It's so much. All fun. my friends go. It, it's, it's a I lot just, of fun. I have a 370Z that's like my like drift missile, and I I'm just like dude driving. I mean I just give everyone credit for all the driving that they do in between tracks and shit. Yeah. I, I've just well, I haven't that, done it yet. I mean but you it's gotta just come. So yeah, much hecticness. Dude, honestly, it is the best way to get in a year's worth of seat time. Literally in, in a week. So I swear, like we had a camera guy on it. This was in November. We had a camera guy who had never drifted before. At the end of Drift Week, he was doing all the tracks perfectly That's fine. That's sick. It was amazing. Have you ever been to Ebisu? Yeah, I have a car there. Okay, yeah, so I was like, after I tell my friends, I'm like, go to Mitsuri. Yeah. And you'll spend a weekend there. Wait, have you been? Yeah. So okay. I I was in Japan, I, I was in Ebisu last year and I'm going for Spring Max Surrey in like in April. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So you have, what what car do you drive? I have a JZX. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So I I do also have a Sidex. Well, what was you your know, name? My name's Julian. Julian. Yeah, TJ. Yeah, nice to sure. meet you. This thing is sick. Thank Can you, I man. Give picture like yeah, this? dude. Yeah, okay. go for it. That's what I pulled over for, and then someone was in here. Oh, uh, it's all it's all good, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> It's huge. Yeah, it's very, very big. See, he likes it. He said, fuck the fitment. Well, when you see it in person, like that was his reaction, you see how large it is in person? Yeah. I don't you, even remember you, what it looked like. Stock body. You like, I don't want to say you don't care, but the ride height, You when you see the width of it, it makes sense. Yeah. Like it's, it's not supposed to be like that, so. We will have to take our hunt quarters selfie in a little bit. Wow. We're doing the selfie today. Wow. You wanna do it right now? No, 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 get me home. We have things to do, four by four squared things to do. No, no, no. Four by four squared things. We haven't told them that yet. What about what's my face? Ah. No, 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 we have to post it when this video goes live. Nope, post it now. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, damn, they fucking lost it. Oh, he's in a Mustang. Goodbye, Nectarine Grove. I see you next Saturday. No, we won't be back. We're so <laughs> over it. Goodbye, everyone. We don't want to come back. Oh, this is another great spot. Sushi. Yeah, don't give them all our right secret. You guys, this place, you got to go to. A day in the life. TJ pumping gas and can't not take a picture of his car. Anybody else? Anybody else go to the gas station and then have to take pictures of your car while taking gas like you haven't seen it 40,000 times? There's something about taking a picture of your car at the gas station. Whoa, why am I zooming in on myself? Okay, that one's gonna go on Hunting Company's Instagram. Hunting Company? What Shout about the what Justin? About Justin came out while I was filming with gas and he was said he's been watching the vlogs for a very long time. And he said, wow, that car looks so crazy in person. I never no, realized. No, I heard him. He said that thing looks stupid. <laughs> he said, I never realized I, I can't believe how big the wheels are. And then he right. said, I thought you sold it. I said, nah, fam, you got God, son. <laughs> Just documenting that I scraped coming out of that for the first time ever. And I scraped, oh, a Z Proto. Never seen one of those in person. Some brothers. Hi, brothers. Look at that, Z Proto. You've never seen one of those in person? You've literally had one. No, 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 but like out and about. I just scraped right there. My diffuser scraped. Wow. We're gonna check it when we get home. Oh, oh! Yeah! What was it? What was it? What was it? It was a GT3. No. It was a Cayman. Yes, but what was it? Um. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something with an S. No. I don't know. It was a GT4. I scraped my diffuser. Oh! I'm dying inside right now. If this is literally gonna be the longest my, vlog. Of my just biggest us fear being. is scraping, and I don't care about scraping the carbon. Like it's on the other side. Whatever happens, it's cracking. My biggest fear, scraping. <laughs> we're gonna when we get home, we're gonna get on another car and we're gonna look. Okay, that's what we're that's Whoa. what we're gonna do. Come on, put the camera away. Put the camera away. We drive. It hurts, it hurts me. Gotcha, gotcha. This literally, we can make a montage video of everyone filming this car as it goes by. We can, we can do it. Those things always go viral on Instagram. Should I make one? No. What? First one, me hanging out my car. <gasps> it's <a DJ>. <laughs> <laughs> You go by and you go, oh look, oh look, oh look, it's just a 3 and 4. Must Ooh. be last one on the road. 
<laughs> that was a bad look. I warned about that. Don't worry. <laughs> Anthony, put it in the video. Stop, because you know he's gonna zoom in on my face. No, he won't. Like you just did on the Hunt Company Instagram. Hey, ow, ow. Pay attention to the road. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That guy was filming us too. This video is gonna be a montage of everyone filming us as we go by. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I missed it. Sad me. Ladies and gentlemen, shh, shh. 42 Niner A34. We got ourselves a pullover. We got ourselves a bogey pulled over on the side of the road. We got ourselves a rip, 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 So we just launch it and he comes after us. <laughs> Listen to the blow off valve on this car. Can you guys hear that? Sabrina, what do you think of that? I think that the Supra sounds better. Okay. Can't argue that, but you have like this dual, whoa, easy tiger. You have this dual blow off where it goes. I don't know if it's recognizable on camera, but it sounds great. This weather sucks. Oh my God, look how sick that sounds. Oh, so good. Seriously, when I look at this car, I think it's, absolutely beautiful and I'm dying to go on like a rally or a road trip or something. Any of you guys know really good rallies to go on, let me know because I would love to do like a really big road trip with this car. Cause it's, it's just so great. But I wanted to check on the diffuser. Let me check on the diffuser. And actually I was thinking about it. I don't think it was the diffuser that scraped. I actually think it was probably the new exhaust setup that we have on it. Let's get on the ground here and check it out. Okay, yeah, there's no way it was a diffuser. I think it was one of the exhaust tips, because look how low it is. I mean, guys, we're talking like four fingers off ground. That's how low the exhaust tip is. And the diffuser's maybe like five fingers. Let me zoom out for you guys. Hey, you leave me alone. Look at that. That's probably what it was. I actually want to chop those off a little bit, because I don't think we really need them facing down, and it really just, hey, hello, hey, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, all right, you have wet paws and you got it all over my new sweatshirt. One of my new recent obsessions that I kind of showed you guys because I started like playing with my Drift RC car a lot more, but a long time ago, I bought a Traxxas Rustler 4x4 and I had the most fun playing with it. Oh no, I don't know if it charged. I'm gonna check it. But I've been playing with the RC car and Kona is obsessed with it. And he's been playing with it. And like, at this point, he like comes over to the RC car and just barks at it and begs for me to come and play with it. I'm too lazy to put the shell of the car on, but watch this. Did you guys lose your ball? Oh. Watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh. He's, he, he only cares about the ball right now. Please. Oh, we get it. Why is it so fast? What do you mean? Because it's, it's, it's a good car. <laughs> Get the ball. Look at this little guy. I can't reach under there. It's literally in the middle of the car. It's not going to happen. Sorry, boys. <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> We cannot reach that. I'm so sorry. Nope. All right. I don't know how to explain this one, but we passed by this Mercedes dealership 
almost every day, and they have a 4x4 squared sitting outside the lot. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but almost like a year and a half ago, when the car market was at its peak, the 4x4 squared just came out. Now, when I say 4x4 squared, I don't mean the one that we used to have, that lime green one. The, actually, it was called electric yellow. See, they released the new updated body. It's pretty much all like the new suspension or new chassis dynamics and I don't know, this is like the new body. It's a, but it's like a different chassis underneath. And it's pretty cool. But when they were first came out, they were asking all this overpricing. They were asking like half a million dollars for these, which is like laughable. Now that I think they've leveled out, they're they still like ridiculously expensive. You finish the clip. But we are going to go and look at one today because Sabrina passes every day. We're just doing this to humor it and look at it, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's go check it out. <laughs> You're a little shit. Oh, you are such a shit. It's cool. What do you mean? It's very cool. Off camera, TJ just goes, it wouldn't be for you. It'd be for me. It would be for me, for oh, sure. You're treating my car. It be no, no. It, Why it, does it look smaller than the It is smaller than the last one. It is a lot smaller. Very cool. I like this rose gold. Dude, that is nice. Look at this. This is a cool color. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Very cool color. What are we thinking? Suggested retail price is 143, but they're probably gonna be asking like 50 to what like we, 80. What, what over. if we just got a regular it's crazy. What if we just got a regular wagon? Yeah, that's cool, but they're not that much. They're not that much. That's how much they're supposed to be at, but they so jack up what? 143. I don't think this is an AMG, but they ask just like the most insanity over and people pay for it. It's good on them. It's like the Porsche world. That is a really cool color though. Is it an AMG? Wow. I don't know. I don't think so. Does it have an AMG badge right there? Oh. Nope. That's why. And then the one that is an AMG, let's go look at it. I bet you, I don't know the pricing on these things at all, but no, this one has sick wheels though. The pricing on an AMG is 195. No, it's not. It's 183. 40 grand more. So they're asking 75 over for the 4x4 square. That comes in at $430,000. And then with California registration fees, it's going to be like $460,000. That's crazy. That is insane. This is a cool one that Sprint liked. It's called a Diamond Edition. And it's essentially the non AMG, so it's the slower engine setup. But it comes in this pink frozen color, and there's only 300 made in this appearance package, and they're all like numbered. And the only thing it has, it's like, it has a diamond. I don't know if you can see that. It has little diamonds in it. I don't think it's that cool, but we wanted to come and check it out. I'm gonna send it to Michelle. One day. That is a dr that is a dream car. One day. Keep let this be the record. Always chasing for for different goals. Hey, I think we should get this. Anyone who can spend $450,000 on a G-Wagon. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Vision board. This is a vision board car. All right, we're close to a BMW dealership and I've been trying to get Sabrina on the X5M, X6M game no. for such a long time. I'm forcing her to go with me because we're just two minutes away. We're gonna go look. I'm calling it now, they're probably not even gonna have any at the dealership. They usually never do, at least the one that's by our house. But we're gonna go and look. I love that car. We almost got an X3M before the Urus. I know the Urus is quite a bit more, but that was what I was like, Sabrina, this is a really cool car. I think it'd be a good idea to get one and it didn't work out, but we're gonna go see what they got. There's a Hunt Co. sweatshirt on the guy on the left. Should I yell at him? If that's you. Wow. Well, if that's you, I, well, what would you yell at him? Hunt Company! No, no, no. be like, that. hey, can I see your sweatshirt? Well, guy on the left, we almost got you on the vlog. Dang. Hunt Co. sweatshirt spotted in the wild. Should we go, should we track him down? No, that would be stalking. <laughs> that would be, that would be slightly, that would be slightly criminal, but <laughs> if that was you, that was you. We were that close to, to, <laughs> to get you on the vlog. That would be so I'm zooming in, I thought I was zooming out, and I'm zooming in, look, it's all the way on my face. Oh, that's scary, that happens to me all the time. That is a Whoa, scary. just saw an X5M pull in there. Hey, right? it's sweet, baby. Nardo Gray. I don't know, great. Oh, I love the girl. E36? It what, dude? I'm so proud of you. You really, you're on, you're on your game lately. I'm a car girl. I should have listened to myself. I should have listened to myself. They didn't have Come one. On. Frozen deep gray? Wow. They didn't have one. Rip to the first guy that came out. That was kind of sad. Well, I was being up front. I was trying no, to No, not time. you, Cart. He, like, he, some guy greeted us and then a second guy came out and just started talking. Yeah, it was one of you guys that was sick. <laughs> Some guy came out. 
Someone pulls up in a nurse. I hey, let me talk to you. No, last the X3M that he was just talking about. That guy. Oh, I forget his name. Ryan. Ryan. He helped us last time. Oh. He. Uh, we took his cart and we were like, yeah, if we ever want to switch out. Well, shout out to you, Ryan. Thermacon. We'll go with the X3M, and then yeah. we did not get the X3M. Should we go by the shop just to see how it's doing? <laughs> we're really day close. Day in the day in the life. We're really close. Should we go look at an Escalade? What? Before I filmed the clip, she was like, we passed by a Kyle dealership. She goes, oh, an Escalade. That's my mom car. That is. When I have like six kids in the back seat. Uh, six? <laughs> what? <laughs> go. You can go. Oh my gosh. This is really weird. Look, they thing? have like a Jeep six by six. Apocalypse six by six. They're trying to sell hey, it. Oh, they I'm, have... I'm all prepared for the apocalypse. Maybe I should get that car. <laughs> Oh wait, we can go to the Lexus dealership and check out any of their cool cars. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. TJ looks like, well, now that our best friend moved right down the street I, from I us. I have a secret kitchen. <laughs> we just left after being completely coming up flat. Oh, Daddy! Well, Kevin said he made me some, this you made me some lunch. Me. This, is, this is like a daily vlog. This is a daily thing where they call me and say, hey, I'm outside. It's Kev, a what is this? A vape? No, no <laughs> remote. Wow. Have you seen those memes? You want to take a hit? You want to take a hit? <laughs> vape? No, remote. Oh, I can tell Kevin just made food. I'm going to make like, some food. I'm really hungry. Says. So here we are. TJ does not take care of his woman. He takes care of himself. So he's eating leftovers from last night. Uh, two nights ago? I made this. Okay. Hey, I'm just eating Kevin my made it, actually. And then we're going to pick up myself some food. And then I'm gonna kick Kevin and TJ's ass in Catan. Nope. Day in the life. Whoa. Whoa. What have you been doing today, Kevin? Tell the vlog. This is just a day in the life. I got a quick word. Tell them. They can't see you. I can't stand TJ's eating noises. I know. They're, it's kind of I went and got a quick pump in today, and then I came back. What'd you do? Arms, legs, torso. Just do it all. Shoulders. I do it all. Do it all. He said, does it all, man. And then I came back, sat on my couch right there. It's amazing. And I watched TV for like two hours, and then I got a phone call from. Like, Whoa! Oof. Don't act like we called you. You call us. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> but they were already at my door. So who called who here? You know. We were. We left, and I was like, "Let's just go show up at Kevin's house and just barge our way in." And then you called us, and we were like, oh. "They said move next to us, Kevin. It'd be great." <laughs> I hate when I get the chunks of tomato. I wish it was just there was no chunks of tomato. You know? You do know what pasta sauce is. Kevin, what would you do if I started a food fight in your kitchen right now? You better hire a really good cleaner. <laughs> All right, I've gotten my free meal plan accomplished. Now we'll leave. All right, see you later. Get away from me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Give it some juice. Ah! Red light! Damn. Now you're gonna get arrested. Uh oh. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Don't wanna get impounded, no, no. We just left Kevin's house and uh. Careful! I... <laughs> I'm TJ and I laugh like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it's green! No! I ate food, it's pretty didn't, so we're gonna go to the store and get her food. We don't know how to Well uh oh, I can't wait for this. What? What do we not know how to do? We did Sabrina doesn't. I know how. <laughs> I have chicken at home for you. Oh yes, actually I'm more in the mood for steak. Of course you are. Oh let's Sabrina get... does not does not know how to buy food what? for the week. Oh! Rude. No, no, she no, goes no. to the store every day. Sometimes twice a day. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had a twitch. <laughs> do, you have, do you have any? Do you have any explanation to that? Yes. Okay. So I have a brain tumor. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Got the clip. <laughs> and now, day in the life of Sabrina and Tej. We're gonna play two-player Catan. We're obsessed with this game. Two-player Catan, you might ask. Yep, it exists. It's a what would you call it? A... It's an ulterior way to play it. Yeah, it's an ulterior, ulterior. Yeah, ulterior, it's a, like di yeah. a different way. It's a different way to play the game. You gotta add like tokens in, there's forced trading, but I've whooped TJ's ass two, three times in a row. 
Oh, look at him. He's very upset. He does not like to lose, especially to me. So um, we're going to play right now and try not to kill each other. Why well, we play this the next night? We will play this for an extra three hours. Guaranteed. In a shot. Oh, dog attack. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. This is us, you guys. Three kids. Two beans. One katan. I was going to overtake largest army and I had two victory points. So that's that. Heal out. I'm trying to record. Okay, look at the last two names on the board. TJ. TJ. Well, it looks like it's three to three. This is how many games we've played. We have a book. From 2024. This is from the start of the year. It really was. A lot of games. That's how much we play. If you tally up who has the most overall wins, it's, it's Sabrina. Kinda... It's me. No, it's Kevin. No, it's me. It's not. I now have 15 wins in the book. Well, that's Kevin, not fair because you... Kevin trailing by eight. The thing is, they don't know is that I Kevin sit out. I eight. sit out half the games. Why? Because I know I'm a master. Trailing by eight, Kev. You have a lot of I know I'm the Lord. I'm Lord of the Town. I'm Lord of the Town. See, the thing TJ doesn't tell you is that him and Serena play games all day. They wake up, they play a game. They eat lunch, they play a game. Before dinner, they play a game. So, if you're gonna play that many games, obviously your name's gonna be on there more than anyone else. Isn't that right? Isn't that how statistic works? Fight me. Sometimes I come here and it feels like I'm babysitting five dogs. It's one, two, three, four, five. Kevin, they had really good looking cheesecake squares at Chippos. Oh, please! Not that close. So, um, we just played an absolutely murderous game of Catan. We were all bullied our one friend, poor Jason over there. He doesn't even want to be seen on camera because he's just so upset. Look at him walking out of walking out of camera. We bullied him. It was brutal. I, it was an absolute slaughterhouse. He had nine points for the entire game. And then your girl came in and got a W. So that's all I wanted to say. Hey, don't forget, my, don't forget my W before your W. Kevin, we're not talking about Ws anymore. We're talking about cars. Okay, we're back to the important things. Taken, you know, we can't decide over here. But truly, Thurus is still my dream car, so may keep it for a little bit longer. But I, I don't even know if I can talk to you guys about cars right now because that murder that we just witnessed in Catan was just. If you guys don't play Catan, learn how to play Catan because it is quite a game. But we're gonna end it here tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I wish we did vlogs like this more. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna force TJ to do vlogs like this more because I miss just vlogging, playing the life, fun stuff, not all shop, working on cars, watch all the comments. You're gonna be like, no, we wanna see work, we wanna see the work on cars. We don't wanna see the vlog stuff, but I enjoyed today. I'm gonna do this more and pick up the camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward. Just kidding, ended the vlog and we all decided that we're gonna rally it out to Harris. Oh, watch the side skirt, watch the side skirt. You tell me every single time. Watch the side skirt. This car is a family car. There's so much room back here. So I ended the vlog. That's what I'm saying. The back two minutes big. ago and our other friends left and us three were like, damn, we really don't want the night to end. Let us perhaps take it to the blackjack tables. It's still pretty loud. No, 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 it won't be. Take it to the blackjack tables. Yeah, and I want her to take the M4 and she goes, ugh. Do we really have to take that car? Well, that's not what I said. I said, do we really want to take that car? Do you want to take the RS? Kevin can't fit in that. Exactly. Put Kevin in the in the trunk. The frog, I should say. I can't hear anything. I said we could put you in the frog. Oh. So uh, last time we went to Harris, Kevin won 500 bucks. But if they don't know what Harris, you tell them it was a casino. Oh, you guys don't know what Harris is. I'm a bad vlogger. Harris is the casino closest to us, so we are going. Kevin won big last time. Okay, I can't see him anymore. He's in the dark. Me and TJ went to the casino on Valentine's Day for the last vlog that you guys saw, and we didn't do too good. So we're going back with a vengeance to get our money back. And we know that normally, normally that's bad. Gambling's bad, children. We're all about to go into the casino. The next clip, you're gonna see our faces, and you're gonna be able to tell if we won or if we lost. We won Monday! Monday! So, um, we decided to leave the casino right as apparently the most popular country artist in the world's concert just got out. So we're on the top level of a four story? Four story. Four story parking structure. And if you guys are wondering where TJ just went, he ran back inside to go potty. And we're probably just gonna sit here for an hour and it's 11.02. Oh!
Oh, they're moving! Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, that, that would have been our time. No, that would have been our time to shine. We are probably, okay. probably going... Kevin and I... Yeah. Kevin and I did real good. TJ got absolutely smacked. By the time we pick back up the camera, it's probably going to be 1 a.m. And we'll just be getting home. So now I'm for real going to end it here. Kevin, do the job. What? Do the job. Is this a clip or Give is this main? No, this is main. Give him a peace out and keep moving forward. Oh, wait. Is he going to pick up tomorrow, though? What? He said he's going to pick it up tomorrow. Well, if he can pick it up tomorrow, then we'll have multiple endings. Oh, okay. Peace out and keep moving forward. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday morning. I just finished a workout and I'm making myself a little brekkie. The standard breakfast that I eat almost every day is three eggs, over easy, which I already made, and some bagels. I use these bagels from Dave's Killer Bread. I just finished it. 26 grams of protein in these bagels. They're not as good as like a normal bagel that's like not full of protein, but they're pretty solid. Like I said, it's a Sunday, so I have the day off, but I decided that I was gonna try to move my racing sim into the shop today, just because, as you guys know, my internet at the house isn't that great, and honestly, I don't really use the racing sim as much as I want to, just because like I'm, I'm technologically challenged, and it's just such a nightmare. I know that if I bring it to the shop, People that visit by who are good at setting up racing sims and all that stuff will be able to set it up. So we're gonna bring it there today, at least that's the plan. So hopefully it gets a little bit more use. I really hope that I don't regret this decision, but we're gonna start taking everything apart. I am not looking forward to doing this. Oh, oh God, it's so connected. Oh, 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 I literally almost just yanked that. All right, now it's just connected. Put this off to the side to start. Ugh. That is heavy. The real question will be if we can move the motion sim and the seat and slip it through the door. Disassembling that seat will suck, but I think it should fit. Oh gosh, maybe. I'm really praying that it does fit. I didn't film it, but I hired an assassin. His name was Anthony and he came and he helped and that is a somewhat depressing sight. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I really have no idea. This office was like perfectly fit around that sim and now it's gone, but all of it has moved into the truck. It took us about 30 minutes or so. We barely got the sim through the doorway. We had to like, we kind of marked up the door a little bit. A little bit, I can get all that off. But we like literally rotated it all the way around and we were able to get it through. We have to do the difficult part, in my opinion, and that is actually removing the sim from the back of the truck. I feel like that's gonna be a lot harder than putting it in. We could really use a third person, but everyone else is busy today. And if any of you guys are professionals at setting up sims, please let us know down below or reach out because I think that we will need to hire someone to come set this up. Because I just want it to be right. And I, like I said, I'm technologically challenged. It's pretty heavy. I don't think it needs to be strapped down. I'm gonna be driving pretty carefully. And the computer, the box, the monitor, everything's inside. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take it to the shop and get it in there. Before we go, I wanna say shout out to everyone who went and got something from the Hunt Quarter shop. The hat that Anthony's wearing right now, that sold out pretty fast. The sweatshirt sold out pretty fast. We still have a few of the t-shirts left, so we didn't get anything and you wanna get it, head over to thehuntcompany.com, it's linked down below. You can get yourself a tee. All right, let's see if we drop this motion soon. Now comes the question, do we go corner or do we go like this? We'll put the monitor up, then we'll decide where to... It might take up too much space, but we'll find out. I guess it doesn't take up too much space. Yeah, it's actually not as bad as I thought. All right, slowly coming together. Thankfully, Tuan is is a is a young. Are you a millennial? What are you? Mm, born in two thousand, so I think so. Right? I don't even know what I am. You're a fucking boomer. I'm not a boomer. You're a boomer. I ain't no boomer. Yeah, you are. So my handbrake broke. Uh, no, my handbrake. My shifter broke, and I don't really have. I don't know. I haven't had like the best experience with Fanatec. 
And I've wanted to switch to Moza for a while Moza, and yeah. just never did, but I need to buy another shifter. And of course they're back ordered. So I don't know if I can use a diff. I don't know if because I'm on Fanatec, I have to use all Fanatec or maybe if I can find a used Fanatec somewhere cause I can't buy one, but that's going to be the main struggle for now, but it's coming together. Piece by piece. piece. We're still looking for, I post on my Instagram story, if anyone does this, like I know people who do this professionally and set this up. So if we can find someone that'd be super awesome to come in and just like dial us up and get all the drift settings and profile settings and all that type of stuff. Well, who knows? This might be the comeback of streaming because I will have the That'll internet for it. That'll be tight. To set up, I would absolutely love to get a hard camera set up somewhere in here and have a complete streaming setup. I'll say this on camera. I have 30 to 50 hours in the throttle sim. No, you don't. For sure. No, you. For sure. I, I was I was driving their sim after work for three months straight, every, every single day. I think I'm better than you. Yeah, look, look up. Look up, scan, scan up top, baby. Yeah. Shit. We're, we're gonna be going to Ebisu uh, for Spring Matsuri, for anyone who's like, Dress or knows what that is. We're gonna be in Ebisu at in the uh, is it the middle of spring? Middle of April? I don't know if we're, if Tuan's coming yet. Sorry, Tuan. Yeah, but yeah. me, Dylan, Nate, and Kevin are all going to Spring Matsuri. And if you guys don't know, I have a JZX out there. Um, that's pretty much we're going. It's a, it's a drift trip, which I can't wait to do. But Kevin and Nate are gonna learn how to drive. I got them a rental car through SideX Experience, which I'm super excited about. Anthony may go, he may not go. I haven't decided if we, I don't know how much we're gonna be filming. Um, so I might have Anthony come out to do some editing and stuff, but if he does, he'll finally get to drift a real car for the first time. And uh, that, would, that, that's, that would be so sick. In Japan too, the motherland, that's such a cool experience. I always tell people, I'm like, drifting on the sim is good. It's good for like keeping muscle memory intact, but I don't necessarily believe that it transfers completely over. I have seen that video with Peter Visek. Mm. He had some like pro sim driver. His his exact car settings in real life were transferred over into yeah. Seto Corsa and some kid drove on his setup in the game and like got in his car in real life and killed it. So to some degree, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess it's not necessarily true because there's people do it for Formula One and that whatever the Grand Turismo movie was. I don't know, but it's definitely not the same thing. You definitely still need a ton of experience in driving a real car. But I do know, I would be curious to see how Anthony would do in a real car after like claiming to be very, very good on the sim. <laughs> It'd be cool to see for sure. Who knows, we might get this thing fired up today or at least like starting to do its downloads and get connected. Um, that'd, be, that'd, be a, that'd be a cool plus. We'll see what happens. We're already having random issues with the thing like not saying it's connected, but hey, it's here. I'm hyped. This is the start of hopefully driving the sim and honestly, hopefully streaming again, whether it's on Twitch or doing it on YouTube or doing it on the Clip channel. Hopefully this is the start again. If anyone saw that one ad that Snoop Dogg did, like, I don't even know how long ago it was. A few months ago, it was like a smokeless fire pit. It's called the Solo Stove. Well, I'm one of the suckers who bought into it and I bought one. And let me be the first to tell you, it is definitely not smokeless. It like, kind of can get smokeless and the way it works is like there's a convent like the way the heat rises and pulls through the chambers and it it kind of can be smokeless it, it's less smoky than i guess it can be if there's no convection system i don't know is anyone out there is like oh i'm gonna buy that because it's smokeless it's not it's not smokeless don't get caught i got caught but it looks cool and it's definitely a good little fire pit, but it doesn't fit that much wood in it though. And just like that, we're already back in the office. I got a stomach ache last night and I didn't end the clip. It was really bad. I was up all night. It's true. Tummy aches are rougher. Dude, it was really bad. Yeah. So didn't end up finishing out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this long video. Like I said, I just missed filming the camera and having fun and not really doing anything too important and just kind of vlogging because we've been doing so many like high production edits and you know staying on track with the builds that it felt good to resort back. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and I'll do more of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you boys in the next one. Peace out and, and for, for real this time. Peace out and keep moving forward.